Yes, Kartsunum or Samana Dutan Aranska Kazmume. I believe the axis of a constitution is the government system. That is the segregation of powers and the restraining mechanism. Of course, I'm not undermining the section of, on human rights. However, the international experience of constitutional reform shows that there are many examples of countries as Mexico, Peru in 1990s, when a monocratic political power initiated constitutional reforms, offering an improved section on human rights or, say, judicial system, but instead created the so-called super-majoritarian institutes. In my opinion, the already mentioned super-majoritarian institute in the first place is hidden in the provisions of the electoral system specifically in the 89th article of the draft. However, before touching upon the 89th article, I would like to formulate and reveal my observations on the complete draft, where the main point, apparently, is the notion of stability. It gives the impression that the authors of the draft literally associate the sustainability of the government with democratic sustainability, when it is known that, from the perspective of democratic progress, sometimes unsteady governments can be more effective than stable, stagnated governments. The authors of this draft have done everything to ensure the stability of the government by limiting the participation potential of the society in the governing processes. I would single out three main points. In the first place, the national elections have been cut from two elections to one, that is, we are going to have only parliamentary elections. In the second place, and this point is often being neglected, the term of duty of the National Assembly has been fixed five years, whereas in other parliamentary countries, the four-year term is common. And lastly, motion of no confidence has been set out, a mechanism that functions better in those electoral systems where coalition governments are encouraged. Whereas, in my opinion, the core provisions of the draft encourage one party system. Uh, let me turn to Article 89. What does Article 89 state? Though I should say that in the article the philosophy of our future electoral code is set out and the provisions are still unclear, we will find out more about them later when the electoral code is drafted. However, still, if we pay attention to the given provisions, we get the impression that the authors of the draft have not taken into account the local political, cultural peculiarities and have not tried to create a model which will give equal starting opportunities for different political forces. Instead, have taken, or better to say, imported a model which aims at preserving and strengthening the current arrangement. First, about the strange points in Article 89, the provision on forming stable majorities set out. That is, the electoral court should ensure and guarantee the formation of stable majority in the parliament. It is a proportional representation system, but the same article also does not exclude the possibility of a second round of elections, which I would call unprecedented in the case of proportional representation systems. A similar model is currently functioning in San Marino. Next year it will also be in Italy, as you see only in these two countries. Although electoral alliances are possible with the same article, the risk that only one party, the winning party, will profit from the stage remains, because regulation can be set out in the future electoral court a provision according to which the given time for forming a coalition will be short. For example, in case of not forming a coalition in two weeks, the second stage will be set automatically. 
The first section of Article 89 clearly states that National Assembly will be comprised of at least 101 deputies. This means that the number of deputies can grow as a result of the second stage. And this number will increase and the parties overcoming the electoral threshold of the first stage will maintain their votes. We do not possess information as to how many percent bonus or electoral award can be set out by the electoral court for the winning party. I find it strange that the authors of the draft are so afraid of instability and so deeply underestimate the notion of consensus or the potential of collaboration between political powers. Eventually, when we consider the European democratic governments, we see that apart from Spain, all other countries have coalition governments.